Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to That Park Place, where we like to talk about the fact that the Walt Disney Company is getting rid of ladies and gentlemen and all that gendered language in their own theme parks, also in some theme parks they don't own. Let's talk about that on That Park Place. Welcome, foolish mortals, to That Park Place. Uh, I am Jonas J. Campbell, uh, your ghost host, as it were. And here with me is, um, uh, well, let's say, uh, uh, would, would you be one of the hitchhiking ghosts, Vash? Who do you want to be? Oh, uh, yeah, I, I could be one of the hitchhiking. Oh, I'll be the hatbox ghost. How about that? Oh, that's why. That, that's right. You were installed later or maybe installed originally, and we can all <laughs> debate about that till the end that's of right. time. Uh, that's I, right. I, I've I, always I, been here. That's right. Always been here and, and and also a new addition at the same time. So uh, we want to talk about a story out of WDW News Today. Ladies and gentlemen, removed from the Haunted Mansion. Uh, this this is an interesting headline. And before we uh, reveal the spoiler, first of all, I don't think that that is, the, uh, that is a uh, Florida Haunted Mansion right there, it looks like. Or is that actually the Japanese no, version? I, I believe Tokyo it's the Japanese version. Oh, so the Japanese version used the Walt Disney World design instead of the Disney Disneyland design. Correct. Yeah, oh. they used they they took the best of all worlds. So they used the like Disneyland's parts of the Caribbean, but Walt Disney World's uh, uh, haunted mansion, but Disneyland's Space Mountain, but Walt Disney World's castle. It, very funny. Oh, that's very good. I, I like it. The Haunted Mansion at Tokyo Disneyland reopened from refurbishment last week with an update. Ladies and gentlemen, has been cut from the introduction to be more inclusive of different genders. Um, interesting the ghost host of the haunted first of all i don't i don't recall ladies and gentlemen being part of the american version uh vash does that does that ring a bell to you yeah i was actually surprised by the headline of this article originally because i was like uh there is no ladies and gentlemen featured in the original ghost host uh, paul freeze track uh, as far as i was aware uh but this makes a lot more sense that it was incorporated into the japanese version uh you know they're they're it's always a little different over uh, overseas regarding these classic attractions. Um, this was surprising to me, though, because it's Japan. You know, usually they're not on the f bleeding edge, let's say, of cultural sensitivity. <laughs> I, at least uh, not historically, anyway. Well, yeah, and we'll, we'll talk about that here uh, more in a moment. Uh, as you can see, it's uh, clear as day here in uh, Japanese. By the way, we did have uh, uh, someone who speaks Japanese, or at least more Japanese than us, uh, he went through this and yeah, he confirmed, ladies and gentlemen, has been removed. The ghost host of the Haunted Mansion at Tokyo Disneyland used to say, uh, translated from Japanese, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Haunted Mansion. This differed from the English versions. Oh. Oh, come on. You got to do it. You got to do it. That's perfect. Although I do feel the temptation to speak over it uh, just to make sure we don't get a copyright strike. <laughs> this differed from the English version of the ride that introduced guests with the iconic, iconic welcome foolish mortals to the haunted mansion. Um, I, I, I love that phrase, foolish mortals. That's, that's so great. Here is the original narration written in Japanese. The bolded section is what has been removed. Um, I'm not even going to attempt that. Uh, listen to the previous version. They they do have the links here on the um, WDWNT version. Uh, Taichi Hori, an executive of the Oriental Land Company, forgive me if I've mispronounced, mispr uh, pronounced your name, uh, voiced the ghost host at Tokyo Disneyland. He passed away in 2014, so the narration could not be re-recorded re without hiring a completely new actor and re-recording the entire ride. Um I'm not so sure about that, but I think the Japanese might uh, might might choose that way. Uh, yeah. Disney began removing ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls from various announcements in 2021. It was removed from fireworks announcements at Disneyland and Walt Disney World in March 2021. See, what they're not putting here is that they've changed it to dreamers of all ages. Right. Or, which uh, is uh, for the Major Electrical Parade. It was uh, to all come to this happy place. Really? Yes. To, uh, Oh wow, that 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 bothers me because that's a you know it's it's that robotic voice, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So it's been replaced with to yes, all who to come all. to this happy place. Well, mm -hmm. yeah, maybe maybe. Ooh. You said the recording on here, but uh, you're just gonna have to imagine that one, folks. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I. I <laughs> we've already tempted fates uh, here with uh, playing as little of that uh, wonderful intro to the haunted mansion. Sure. Um, later that year, Tokyo Disneyland Electrical Parade Dreamlights switched to Good Evening and Welcome, one and all, as of July 2022. Uh, Walt Disney World cast members were told to 
address guests as friend instead of sir or ma'am. I love whenever we mention this, um, somebody says, no, they don't call they don't call everybody friend. By the way, it is it is very weird to refer, refer to people as friend all day, especially uh, considering that people within the parks, the cast members are having to get a little bit more aggressive with guests in order to keep them in line. Or, uh, well, maybe they don't have to, and maybe they just feel like they have to here. Uh, Vash, when you were there, uh, I believe last year, did everybody call you a friend? Was yes. it where everybody knows your name? Yeah. <laughs> no, nobody knew my name, uh, but everybody considered me their friend. And I'm like, I'm not your friend, buddy. Uh, not your buddy guy. No. Uh, yeah, it's it, it's it's really weird now. Previously, it was just folks, you know. Hey, folks, come on over here. That kind of thing. Now it's friends. And it, it's just it's just I don't like it. I really don't like it. It's a little it's a it's cringe to me. It's it's just it's a little bit too friendly, let's say, for for complete strangers. I thought folks was 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 nice and incorporating everybody, but for some reason we can't necessarily do that. I don't know why. Uh, well, but we've had a a change of language all throughout, right? We've yeah, we've it, had it, uh, princes and princesses removed and all that. Yeah, it does end up in odd territory because uh, folks, but you wouldn't call someone folk. I think you would uh, end up in dangerous territory there as well. And usually when I'm being called my friend, it's someone that is trying to get me to buy something. Um, it, <laughs> it's It also reaches that territory where if somebody calls a little girl a princess or a boy uh, a prince or what, what was it they were calling the boys? I, was it prince? I don't think they called the boys princes. Um... <laughs> or <I don't>. sport. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I call them all sport and tiger, and uh, yeah, yeah. Just, uh, just defend everyone. <laughs> yes, it's it'll be great. Peter's Peter's on the phone right now, actually, uh, looking to uh, <laughs> looking to get on that action. <laughs> How dare you call everyone tiger? Uh, <laughs> but, tigers are a culture, not a costume. Oh, there you go. Perfect. Uh, we've taken the gendered language out of the vernacular, which is very strange, very bizarre. We've we've replaced it a lot of it with friend, which is not great at all. No, do not like that. Well, it's um, a lie. And we've replaced a, recordings. Oh, go ahead. That's the problem is it's a lie. You're not friends. We're, we're people who have a business association on some level. I get it when you want to call someone. Hey, 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 buddy. OK, maybe I'll call somebody buddy when they're not really my buddy. But uh, having cast members officially call people friends is 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 a, is a so let's let's go back all the way here to uh, the haunted mansion though. Uh, I wonder if this specific instance of them removing ladies and gentlemen from the park is a mandate from the Walt Disney Company, uh, because for instance, the zippity doodah has been removed from uh, the park only because the Walt Disney Company uh, refused to renew the copyright. Uh, sorry, refused to renew their license to use the song in the parks. Splash Mountain still exists at Tokyo Disneyland because they're not getting rid of it. They love that ride over there. They do. And they also restricted the use of characters from Splash Mountain for parade floats and shows and so forth, which is really, really unfortunate. But yeah, they... Uh, New Orleans Land Company has been insulating themselves um, from this overstep by Disney that they that we've now seen mandated across their parks, except for China. It's a little weird, but OK. Uh, but but to see this from Japan, I think I think that was surprising to many because um, they're they're not really about this. Uh, and they've been fending off Disney pretty successfully. Right. I'll, so far. I'll also point out that uh, the Oriental Land Company uh, received requests from the Walt Disney Company to change the name because they felt like uh, this Japanese company, the Oriental Land Company, was using a name that might be offensive to Japanese people. Hmm. That's, a, so, uh, that's an interesting idea. Yeah, <laughs> I, of um, course, cannot confirm the person that I heard that from, although I've heard it from multiple sources within the Walt Disney Company, oh. rumors and speculation. But doesn't it quite doesn't it sound like this something that a, a company run by a bunch of white liberals would say? <sighs> ah, forgive me. I've gone too far. I've gone too far here. Well, look, listen, um, we have been hearing that there is a list, right? The Story Matters Initiative, they have a list of all the things that they want to change, and that includes whole attractions. We actually just talked about the Tiki Room and how, you know, they're not necessarily enthusiastic about that attraction. When you when you, when you you see little changes like this, even in Honda Mansion that's in Japan, or, uh, you know, denying art from Shag, which is a very influential artist, by the way, it does raise the eyebrows, and I, I, I know... 
before the 50th was sidetracked by what happened in 2020, right, with the whole pandemic thing, um, there was an ambitious plan to to invest into all kinds of attractions at Walt Disney World, like Carousel of Progress, for example, the Country Bridge and Bury. Um, but 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 now looking back, it it does seem like that those were cultural sensitivity improvements as much as they were refurbishments, which is. Well, yeah, it's we, not good. We, we, of course, know that the Jungle Cruise received many. <laughs> there was a lot of money paid to do cultural sensitivity improvements to the Jungle Cruise, mm -hmm. only to find out that they had to put up crash nets underneath some of the uh, edifice to keep it from falling on guests. So we 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 set, we tend to see where the priorities of the Walt Disney Company are. We do speculate at where that sixty billion dollars might go, and maybe uh, maybe it won't be increasing capacity. Maybe it will be fixing all of these problems, getting rid of that problematic Walt Disney World, and replacing it with Bob Iker Corporation Land. I don't know. Maybe <laughs> we know at least uh, what thirty percent of it is going towards things that don't necessarily increase capacity. So what is that? <laughs> um, uh, tw almost $20 billion right there. Yeah. Um, you can do a lot of damage with that. Well, uh, buddy, pal, uh, I got to say, please, uh, Sport, if you could leave a uh, comment, that would be great, telling us what you think about this situation. Sweetie, if you could hit the like button. Honey, girl, uh, pal, um, uh, pretty face, uh, sweetie, <laughs> leave a like. Uh, I'm, I don't know. I'm, 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 I'm fooling around with this, uh, uh supposedly. Come on, no, language. go ahead and hit the like button. There. Yeah, come on, Sport, <laughs> be a pal, be a buddy. <laughs> Uh, consider sharing this out, uh, bucko, and uh, <laughs> consider subscribing to That Park Place for all the news that should be put. Thanks for watching That Park Place News. For more information, consider checking out www.thatparkplace.com. And don't forget to subscribe, share, like, and send this out on your favorite social media accounts.